Vianstore.com slash special. Present. How to make math games for kids. One of the most effective ways to help kids learn math facts is through the use of games. In this article, you'll learn how to gather just a handful of basic materials and create a wide assortment of simple yet exciting games that children will enjoy playing. These games can be used to help children practice addition, subtraction, and multiplication facts. Instructions Introducing Games 1. Prepare your games by assembling the needed materials. Number cubes, dice, and counters should be stored in easily accessible containers. Playing cards should be rubber banded together. Create the fact O boards by writing the numbers 1 to 30 and 3 large X's on each board. You may also want to make larger fact O boards with higher numbers if you want children to multiply larger numbers or use 3 dice. 2. Introduce the game speed first, because of its simplicity. As with all math games, be sure to model how to play the game before allowing children to play on their own. Demonstrate how to get the materials, begin play, handle problems during play, and how to correctly put away the materials. To play, speed, two children each roll a number cube, die, at the same time. The first player to correctly add them up wins. Children must recite the full math fact aloud, 3 plus 6 equal 9, in order to receive credit. Tally marks can be used to keep score. The winner is the person with the most tally marks when time is up. Play the game two or three days in a row so children become familiar with it. Then, if children know how to subtract or multiply, they can play the game for several more days using these operations. 3. Up the difficulty level with switch M up speed. Once children are proficient in speed, you can change the rules slightly for switch M up speed. This time, use a signal, such as a bell or whistle, to indicate when children should freeze. Begin by having children play the game in the normal way, then use the signal after about 30 seconds. Children should freeze and you can call out another operation, now, multiply. From that point forward, children must use the new specified operation, until you use the signal again. 4. Introduce the game battle, which is played with a deck of cards. Take out the jacks, queens, kings, and jokers, unless you prefer to teach that those cards are worth 11, 12, 13, and 14 respectively. The ace is equal to 1. The rules for battle are similar to the card game of war. Two players should split the deck between them, this does not need to be done precisely, in order to save time. Each player chants, 1, 2, 3, flip, and then flips over his top card. The first person to correctly add the two cards together and recite the math fact, 4 plus 3 equals 7, gets to keep both cards, and play resumes. If there is a tie, or children cannot determine who was first, leave both cards on the table and resume play. The winner of the next round will take all four cards. After children have demonstrated proficiency with addition battle, they can play the game using subtraction or multiplication. 5. Introduce one final math fact practice game, after multiple days of playing variations of speed and battle. In this game, called, Fact O, children will choose the operation that they want to use in gameplay that is similar to bingo. Each player will need a number cube, small counters and a game board that has the numbers 1 to 30 and 3 large X's written on it. Players take turns rolling the dice and choosing an operation. For example, if a player rolls 5 and 2, she could say, 5 plus 2 equals 7, and cover the number 7 on her board using a counter. If 7 is covered, she could say, 5, 2 equal 3, and cover the 3. She could also say, 5x, 2 equal 10, and cover the 10. If 7, 3, and 10 are already covered on her board, she must place a counter over one of her 3x's. If one player covers all three X's before time is up, the other player wins by default. Otherwise, the winner of the game is the person with the most numbers covered on his board when time is up. Once children have practiced with the Fact-O boards for several days, 
you may choose to introduce a larger facto board with higher numbers, like the one pictured above, and allow children to use three dice. They may mix operations during play, 3 plus 4 equals 7 x 5 equals 35. Thank you for watching my videos. Please check the link below to get the discount.